Greetings everyone, this is BJ Black from No Export For You, and welcome to part 28 of my Let's Play of Moon Moose Quest Paradox RPG, Confrontation Chapter. Now the next thing to do, strictly speaking, is finish up Promistine's quest. No, Promistine's. Grand, King Grandno, Queen Grandno's quest. But I wanted to show you that Promistine is now sitting here in the lobby, as she said. So, it seems that her success rate at Carrot X has increased. So, any ability that's a racist slime at level 10 can be turned into a magic beast. Oh, great. We can have more rabbit friends. So, this is Promistine's options here in the lobby. You can't find her in her research room anymore, curiously. But anyway. In order to turn a human into a vampire, first of all there's the level team thing, but they also, she also needs three garlics and one black fragment of the night. Well, I could do it um, zero times, I suppose. I forget where I can get garlic, but it's easy to get your hands on if you know where. In any case. The other option here is changing slimes to magic beasts. So what we use for this is carrot X. You need three carrots and one crazed beast claw. Well I guess I can't do any of those either. So thanks for showing us that promising. Maybe we'll talk to you again sometime. So, Queen Grandnoa wanted us to find her ancestor, the first metal king. So this mysterious grave that's been here since the beginning of Catalyst Chapter. Maybe this grave has something to do with the first metal king. Well, we don't know who's buried here. It's just a mystery Larry, grave. And the tombstone also doesn't have any... Well, the inscription on the tombstone is also in something we can't read. Oh, this is... Old Noah language. I'll translate it. Let's see. Um... He who chased metals... sleeps here. Uh... In that case... What need do you have with me? Who's there? I am the Metal King. True identity unknown. So, what need do you have with me? You're my predecessor. Indeed, I am the Metal King. If I have been revived to this earth, it's because my soul that... That's my soul searching for metals cannot go on. So his desire for metals was so deep that he became a lost soul. And apparently we called him out. If you're able to become a ghost by be just by how much you want metals, that's... Wow, that's a lot. Huh. So, it turns out this grave was the first Metal King's grave. It's an honor to meet you, first Metal King. Hmm. You seem to be my descendant. And it seems you're also collecting medals as well. Yes. And my reason is the same as yours. For the sake of the world. Right. For the sake of the world? Metals? Maybe these little metals have some mysterious power to them? No, nope, they're a simple collector item. Nothing more. What's important is the valuable goods that we trade away in exchange for them. 
as you know, in the Grand Noah royal family there are a lot of valuable goods, valuable weapons and items. But if they're just sleeping in our storehouses, they're no use to anyone. And this is a time of crisis. So those heroes who are made of the right stuff need to get their hands on these weapons and items. So I trade these valuable items to heroes and travelers. But we can't just give them to any old immature person. They're, you know, valuable and all that good stuff. If we did that, they'd let it go to their heads. Getting free, getting good stuff for free. But a good traveler wanders around the world, and if they can gather metals as they do so, then that's proof of their their superiority as travelers, hey, if you want to say so. And so, in exchange for those metals, we give them our valuable goods. So those people who have the power to cut a path into the future, we give them the royal family's treasures. That's why the Metal King demands medals. Oh, I see. So, that's how it is. Hmm, in that case you don't really want the medals in particular? We kind of had the feeling you were just a royal family that really liked medals. You aren't going to deny it? <laughs> in any case, good job finding me. Since I'm a spirit bound to this earth, although I'm a, bound, a spirit bound to this earth, I can still be of help to you. So, first of all, take this. You don't need medals for this one. It's our first time service. So... Kanjo, that's a ninja sword, and a super-powered shield. Okay then, as the Metal King, I'm going to reopen my business. So, heroes, gather up medals and offer them to me. Hmm. Okay. Luca, good job finding the first Metal King. This is a thank you from me. Oh, some seeds. Magic, magic defense, dexterity. Okay, so we've completed the request from Queen Gran Noah, all right. So let's continue our journey. Good for us. Let's just take a look at his goods. I don't have any metals, but yeah, he'll let us look. And if you're ever drowning in metals, you can come exchange them pretty cheaply for seeds. All eight types. Well, all base eight basic types. Those experience and uh, job experience and race experience ones aren't available here. Also, in the last list, these four. You only get one each. They are Heinrich's helmet, Heinrich's Shield, Heinrich's sword, and Heinrich's armor. Oh, Luca's going to fanboy all over that stuff. Hope he doesn't drool too much. And this last thing. Etimen Anki. I don't even know what language that's in. It's in Katakana, so it's probably not Japanese. But still, I have no idea what it is, and I'd need 50 medals to get it, so... Uh, it's a mystery to me, and it's a mystery to you. In any case, that's the Metal King. Next up... Godal. That's right.
All right, here we are in Godal. So, let's see if the townspeople will accept the King of Grangold as he is now. Ooh, I'm getting nervous here. Hmm, you know, maybe we should do something about that face. It's kind of scary. You know, the big faceless thing and all. I've got a great plan. King, don't move for just a minute. So, Sonia draws out black magic. <clears throat> that is to say, a black magic marker. So, just like this, a face that has a lot of familiarity. Q, Q, Q. Q, Q, wait. Those are Nuruko sounds. Well, she does get along with Nuriko. Uh, all right, good. Not a good. Most definitely. So let's see the reaction of the people. Okay, the ones we need to talk to are the ones outside of houses. We don't want to go into houses or businesses or anything and cause trouble there, so yeah, outdoors. It's alright, everybody will accept you. So let's go talk to someone. I am the king. Your king. Hooah, it's a monster. And he runs away. Okay, we're batting zero for one, but one is not a very big sample size, so we're doing good, right? Anyway, he says he, he ran away. Um, well, don't let it get you down. Let's go talk to some other people. Oh, my people. May you, be, may you bathe in the light of heaven. What the hell is that? I swear that I will make paradise of this land. It's the last boss come to attack! Man, you're pretty arrogant. You think the last boss would attack this dumbass town? Ah, people. My beloved people. Save me! I'm getting a notice pattern here. Everybody isn't seeming to accept me. Why don't you talk about more normal things? Well, I'm kind of nervous here. Ah, peering into the deep abyss of the well. What the hell is that conversation? So that's a scream. She ran away? Yes, she ran away. I shall guide you, my people, on the path of the light. Oh, another monster. Another guy saying he's a monster, I mean. Your spear, swear to me that you will use it to pierce evil. Emergency, emergency, call for backup. Okay, in this case, he is running for backup in particular. Reinforcements. Ah, aged one. May you live long. It's not my time yet, please spare my life. Hmm. Everybody's taking one look at you and running. Uh, you, well, don't worry about that. There's got to be somebody who will understand. Come on, man. Ah, oh, weak child. May the kingdom's blessings be upon you. Save me, save me. Okay. This is basically how it goes. My people, may you long have the blessings of heaven. Oh, save me. Ah, my soldier. Use your power for the sake of the people. 
Ooh, doesn't look like I can win against this guy. I'm calling for reinforcements. Yeah, at least the soldiers have their heads on straight. Uh, other than fleeing in a little less fear than the other people. The beautiful songs that you sing, they move my heart. Oh, please save me. So, trader of goods, may the light shine upon you. No, oh, please don't kill me, please don't kill me. Hmm, we're kind of running out of people here. I kind of knew this would happen. Look, let's talk to everybody else. I'm sure there's somebody who will accept you. Ah, proud soldier. May your spear protect the people. Yeah. Well, that one doesn't even pretend to be going for any reinforcements. People of our kingdom. What you look for, uh, what you may look forward to is a time of blessings. Oh, it's a attack by the Mao. May we be protected by the goddess's light. Scream! Elias, protect me! Save me! Mm. Children are our treasure. Children are our future. Ah, oh, my beloved people. Mama, mama! Well. The walls stand so that you may have your privacy. Oh my god, I'm never peeing on walls again. Is that seriously what he was do- Well, obviously. Someday you may be called to use your sword to protect the people. Ooh, an attack by monsters. I'm not going to win by myself. Oh, another one going for reinforcements. So. We've spoken to everybody and it seems my answer is this deserted town. Um, I hear a child's voice out on the main road. Let's go talk to her. Yeah, in any case, the result will be the same. Yep, nobody here but a little girl. Hmm. She actually can't get very close to buildings. I tried to push her up against one once. Little girl, are you going to see me as a threat as well? Kya, save me! Kya. So, she tripped and fell. Man, you're bad at fleeing for your life. Ouch, ouch. I scraped my knee. Hmm, are you alright? Gentle wind of life, heal this wound. And the girl's wound is healed. How nice. The next time, let's be more careful. Could you be the king? Why do you think so? A long time ago when I was even littler, the king came to this town in a parade. Hmm, how nice. No, oh, it's the king. It's my first time ever seeing him. That would be a girl, but not the girl we're talking about. A youth says, man, those sol soldiers guarding him look really strong. Now this is our girl. Where? Where is the king? God, she's so clumsy. Hmm? Are you alright? Gentle wind of healing. Gentle wind of life. Heal these wounds. And the girl's wounds were healed. 
and next time you must be more careful. Yes, King! Hmm. Sometime back I do recall that happening. The King, why do you look like that now? Did a bad magician use bad magic on you? Uh, well, something close to that. Little girl, am I scary? Well, at first you really startled me, but you're not scary. After all, you're the king. Well, everybody's going to understand. The king is the king, after all. Yeah, at first they may panic and reject you. But if you do your utmost as their king, it won't really be possible for them to deny it forever. Hmm. What's important is what we do from now on. If I use my power to my utmost as the king, the people will accept me. I am lost no longer. From now on, for the sake of my country, my people, and the world. So he steals his resolve. And, oh how nice. Magic power 40% up and magic con magic point MP consumption 20%. 20. One half. So that's pretty cheap if you do a lot of magic casting. So let's continue on our journey. We've got to return peace to the land after all. Yes, let's go. Mm, and furthermore, I need to think about planning some image upping here. I should speak with my publicity minister. Yeah, that'd be a good idea. Also, wipe your face off. Maybe you could do a thing like uh, the Robot King from Gunnar Krieg Court. That'd be funny in its own way. Ah, yes. No, I'm not going there. Now, Gigi's quest. She's the catfish girl from the first chapter. And she had the quest of going to each of the fairies' um, homes and figuring out elemental powers that reside in these places. The sparkle's a little hard to see, isn't it? So, I feel the energy of water here. My whiskers are all shivering. So, years older than a turtle shell has given me the ability to sense natural energy. So with this energy of water, if I draw it in well... So she learns the skill. Tsunami! It means tsunami in English. Alright, just like that. So, let's go. And we've got one more to visit. Oh yeah, I want to go to Goldport. Obviously, we did two parts of Gigi's quest in the Catalyst chapter. And that was in my Let's Play of that. So if you want to see that, you can do it there. Yeah, but there's actually already a translation, so you'll probably play it through yourself. If you like Gigi enough. She's pretty cool, actually. In any case. She feels the energy of flames here. Oh, her whiskers are starting to get singed a little. So it's her particular power, drawing natural energy from things. So with this energy of flame, if she draws it in well, she learns the skill Flame Pillar. 
All right, there we go. Not much to it, but if you like Gigi, those are a couple of free abilities. Now, the next one is a little complicated. Luca, I'm going to need to change your job type to Berserker and your race to Valkyrie. All right, now we're ready. Almost. Add the HP up ability. Well, I won't be using much of this, but have to put it on there. For the sake of, you know, feeling like I'm doing things right. Now, the Gloria Pirates have challenged the Fish Pirates to a battle, and they are right out here. Oh, so you've come. I'm the captain of the Gloria Pirates. Gloria! Imagine that. Next up, Mook number one. I mean, uh, Ariadne, right. So, she's the leader of the assault force of the Gloria Pirates. And this is Cresta. Nice to meet you and all. Although she may not look at she's the lead gunner. Well, it's been a while, Gloria. But the fish pirates now aren't like we were before. Since we've been on this adventure to save the world and everything, we've really raised our powers. Uh, to put it bluntly, you guys are not going to defeat us this time. Hmm, it's true. We are merely humans to begin with. So we had a straight up battle with you. There's no way we would win. So we're going to have a pa proper battle of battle fucking. Are you serious? And the target will be that hero there. Huh? Me? So, first you're going to battle us. If you defeat Ad Ariadne and myself, then you can challenge Gloria. After all, the star has to be saved for last. So, what are you going to do? Are you going to have this battle fuck battle with us? Um... No? This is stupid. And anyway, Luca's not exactly the leader of the fish pirates anyway. You may as well challenge some random smuck on the shore and say if you get him to lose, <clears throat> then you've beaten the fish pirates. Mm, so you're going to run away from a challenge. That's pretty pathetic, you know. Oh, this is bad. Luca, you've got to do it. Oh, yeah, he does. So, first, start with Ariadne and Cresta. Is she drooling? I think she's drooling. Well, it's all right. She may look a bit old, but... Well, she's all right. All right, we're not going to lose, etc. We're going to show our techniques to the rumored hero. So, please be gentle. Although you're going to lose right away. Hmm, okay. So, this is the reason why... I gave Luke all that stuff that will... boost up his HP. Changing his job and race and... equipping that ability. But let's not forget... The muscle belt also adding 10%. And also remember to heal up properly. These girls do a lot of damage. So I'm going to do this, although it's kind of ridiculous. I mean, since when has battle fucking had anything to do with the storyline or... or anything? But whatever. I'll cut out the erotic parts for what it's worth. Alright, so we're going to have a fair fight here. And I'm pretty strong, you know that? 
the fee for losing is law. And if we win, we get an accessory that lets us use gun techniques. So, gonna do it? Or are you gonna quit? Uh, fine, we'll do it. Alright, here we go. Oh, looks like I won. Okay then, you can take it. The accessory lets you use gun techniques. Woohoo. If you want to do it again, be sure to come by. Yeah, whatever. Wait, wait, I need healing. Shut up, powder on me. All right, Ariadne, I'll take care of you now. So again, 1500 if you lose, and if you win, an accessory that lets you use pirate techniques. Okay, are you ready for battle? So let's get started. Yeah, sure, whatever. Hey, look at that, I won again. These girls do a lot of damage, though. Okay, I'll give you the prize. With this, you can use pirate techniques. Woohoo. So, that was fun. Let's do it again. Okay, having defeated them, we can challenge Gloria now. Oops. Okay then, I'll be your opponent this time. It's alright, I'll make sure you enjoy it. So the fee this time is 1800, and if we win, a special treasure that the Gloria Pirates has set aside. So are you ready then? I'm willing to draw it all out of you. Okay, sure, whatever. Alright, I'm going to win, so... Hmm. As expected of the highly renowned hero, I've lost, she says. Ah, sucker. Give me what it exactly was that you promised. Oh. This treasure she spoke of is an accessory that cuts the amount of MP you use in half. Hey, that means if we equip King Grangold with his ability and this accessory, it's probably MP and down to a quarter cost. Hmm, I think I already have a bunch of those in my good save. Alright, it's our victory in... Hmm, yeah, I got to acknowledge our defeat. So, we've had this long rivalry, but now we've put an end to it. So, let's head out. Mm, okay, whatever. And we run away. So... Oh, we got another letter from the Glory Pirates. If we want to do more battle fucking, we can come any time. Hmm, man, they never learn. Oh great, we can do it any time. Isn't that great, Luca? Any time. Is she... Oh yeah. That's right, I equipped Luca with that accessory to boost his health. What's his health out of? Hmm. Looks like Gloria did almost 4,500 damage. Maybe that accessory wasn't necessary. Ah. Anyway, what I'm doing here is heading back out there. Not for another match. It's actually pretty boring. But because I can have them join my party. Welcome to the party, Ariadne. Cresta. She says she can hit 100 out of 100. And Gloria. She says she's kind of tired of working as a pirate. So, why don't you mm, 
give her work. <laughs> Let's see. Wait, she's drooling again. Yeah, any case. All right, pleasure to be working with you. So, let's start out tonight. She's totally a cougar. Great, Gloria joined our party. So, go ahead and take this. It was good that we got our hands on it, but it's just a little too heavy for me. This is proof of the Pirate King. Oh! With this, I'm the Pirate King! How nice. Oh, Pirate Queen, really? In any case, that's another one of those items that lets us get to the highest level of certain job classes. Specifically, the Pirate and uh, the Pirate King and Admiral classes. So, next up, actually, we have a Elias aside. There's one side quest we can do for Elias that we couldn't do for Alice here. It's not directly connected to Elias, but... Well, you'll see when we do it, right? In any case, thanks for watching, and next time an Elias aside with one last side quest.